Hello and welcome back to another video on Macaulay Travels and today is day two traveling around the north of Wales. So I've now arrived at, now I hope I'm going to pronounce this one right as well, Brian Selidou Burial Train, Burial Chamber. So we're going to, uh, you know, parked up. I'm going to go take a walk over the rain has stopped but it's quite cloudy. Um, so yeah, we're just going to have a little bit of a go through the north of so, oh, i'll chuck the map up that's you know that little section there is where i'm planning on just doing a little loop of and a little explore around a nice little chill day again today so yeah let's head over to the burial chamber So what sets this tomb apart from other tombs in the area is when the sun rises on the longest day of the year, it coincides exactly with the centre of the tomb. Um, it seems pretty interesting. I'm going to read off a little bit more, obviously, after I've been here and then explain a bit more. But let's head over closer towards the tomb. As some of you might know, everywhere that I go, if I find one, I have to go, and it's aquariums. I found one up in the north of Wales. Um, I have forgot the name, but it's that one. <laughs> um, and yeah, we're going to take a little walk around. I know it's £12 per person, or per adult. Um, and yeah, let's have a see how this aquarium is. <laughs>
the Anglesey Sea Zoo was a lot better than I thought. Yeah, it was £12, but there's so much more included. Like, well, I, I don't know whether it's included or extra, but they've got like the mini golf, there's loads, a little cafe there, the gift shop. It is really, really nice. Um, and walking around, all of the tanks were clean, all of the fish looked pretty healthy. Um, yeah, it was it was decent, and also the ticket includes entry for a week, not even just the day. The guy was saying, I don't know whether it's just because of the time of the year, but twelve pound, and basically I'm able to enter as many times as I want up until next Friday. Um, well, Friday coming. So, yeah, I, I definitely recommend it, and all the kids that I saw walking around seem to really enjoy it as well, and it's not too expensive, quite accessible, and a huge car park. So. Yeah, definitely recommend it. I'm now going to drive on and try and find a little cafe because I'm starving. I've not eaten yet and it's like half twelve. So I shall catch you when we get some food. I've just parked up at a farm uh, that's got a cafe just down the road from the aquarium. So I'm going to pop in there and have a bite to eat because I'm so hungry. Probably won't do the farm, but just a bit of food. Um, and then moving on towards the beach. So let's go get some food. <music> We've had some food, nice prawn mayo sandwich, and and got a selection of I think it was six chocolates for four pounds and a penny because it was one weight. Um, to try later, but we're gonna now head over to the beach and yeah, hopefully fly the drone out there. Catch you at the beach. And I've made it to Langwin, if that's how you pronounce it. Obviously, it's written on the bottom. As always, um, Langwin Beach, it's so busy. I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time here because there's so much more that I want to see today as well. And I'm kind of running out on time. But the sand is so white, so smooth, so soft. Um, it's really nice. Like the car park's huge as well. So, yeah, I'm going to. Have a little chill here for a bit i found a nice little secluded little section no one around me um so i'll catch you in a little bit one of the lakes i've not been to this one but i cannot pronounce the name for the life of me so obviously i've written it down at the bottom and i'm just gonna have a chill and i might have a little cool off in the water because i'm so warm it's it's unreal i think it's uh, very humid at the minute so yeah just gonna have a little chill and then maybe have some food back at the camp site and a chill and maybe a little drink so Let's see this place. little chill by the lake didn't swim because it's got a little bit nippy the sun gone then but yeah i'm gonna head back to the campsite now <clears throat> have a food and maybe a little cider 
and then yeah i'm not too sure what i'm doing after that but i'll keep you updated <laughs> So I'm now back at the accommodation, um, back at the tent, and I thought I'd try my chocolates because I don't think I'm gonna be going back out this evening now. I think I'm just gonna chill, do a bit of editing, have another couple of cans, and yeah, just chill for the evening. So we'll start with the, well, the fondants, because I've got three fondants, two truffles. And then these are all from the farm sh uh, farm shop, farm cafe, where I went to earlier. So the first one is a mint crisp. Cute little flowers on it. Ooh, that's very minty. Mm. Like an after eight mint, right? Oh. <laughs> Mm. That's really, really nice. Cleanse the palette. Okay, and the next one is the mocha cup. It looks like a cute little cup. So. Mm. Ooh, that coffee is intense. Mm. I'm not keen on coffees as a drink, but mm, as a chocolate, as a cake. Mm. It's so nice, it's so nice. Okay, next one, honeycomb crunch. You can see little bits of I'm guessing honeycomb inside. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> I'm sure these chocolates keep getting thicker and thicker with every one. I don't think, I literally didn't think I was going to get rid of that. Mm. Okay. And now on to the truffles. So the first one is the <clears throat> toffee truffle. It looks like it's just got chunks of toffee stuck to it. Ooh. It was like all of that chocolate just dissolved instantly in my mouth. Mm. That was so nice. Mm. Very nice. <clears throat> and then we'll move over to the brandy one and the only one that's got is just like a little dot on the edge looks like a bit of gold edible paint actually hmm. i think it's gold edible paint oh <laughs> that's brandy <clears throat> it was like a full shot of branding on its own with a hint of chocolate. <laughs> mm. That's really nice. But I do so many. Like, there's absolutely loads. Um, 
and very very nice they offer gluten-free ones as well i've got chocolate all around my mouth <clears throat> but yeah they were really really nice and the five of those cost me just under four pounds so not even that bad considering it feels like and tastes like really you know good quality expensive chocolate but anyway I do hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please do like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you don't miss a post because we're only on day two of like probably 10, 12 of the whale series. So yeah, keep exploring the world one footprint at a time. And until next week, adios.